Government has a critical role to ensure opportunity, genuine opportunity. It's a key principle of our country that where you start out shouldn't dictate where you end up. Since 2007, the Mayor's Office for Economic Opportunity has used innovation and an evidence-based approach to solve the challenges of poverty. As we look at the percentage right, so far, we can actually do some comparison there. The office has launched over 70 programs and has supported the evaluation of key mayoral initiatives. Among them, Pre-K for All, IDNYC and Community Schools. And it is continuously expanding its expertise in research, service design and data integration. We manage a portfolio of programs and services, test whether they work, and advise city hall leadership about which ones ought to be scaled and which ones ought to be ended. We're doing this work because we actually want real people's lives to be different as a result of our work. One of the office's most successful programs is commonly known as ASAP. It's designed to help students attending community college complete their studies quickly and raise graduation rates. The idea for the program came from CUNY, the City University of New York. With six and a half million dollars in annual funding, the Mayor's Office for Economic Opportunity helped CUNY set up ASAP and rigorously track its progress. The office first funded an initial cohort of 1,000 students in 2007 and has worked closely with CUNY to support and expand the program ever since. So why did you start working on your chart? Students enrolled in the ASAP program receive financial assistance, intense academic counseling, and Metro cards. They get lured in by the Metro card, but the true benefit they always talk about is really the advisement relationship. It's really easy to get discouraged and be like, oh, man, I, I just can't do this semester. It's, it's, I can't afford it, or I don't want to deal with the stress of these classes and everything like that. As a part of ASAP, when you're feeling that way, you can speak to your ASAP advisor. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Student advisors are carefully chosen. Often they have first-hand experience with the challenges ASAP students face. As the relationship is built between the student and the advisor, they get to know what their goals are, what their challenges are. They don't have to repeat their circumstances each time they go in to meet with someone. It is a very intensive counseling model, and that costs resources. I mean, it takes money to do that. But the payoff when you have young people graduating at double the rates otherwise, it's one of those investments that makes great sense. I see you gearing up to leave us and move on to the four-year college. Your ASAP academic advisor is literally there for you for anything that you need them for. I've been having trouble on CUNY Portal. I was an ASAP student as well. And when I started school, I was homeless. I didn't have the structure of knowing how to be prepared for college. Those things you just don't know unless you ask the questions. When you encounter students such as myself, you know that they have been to the bottom and now you're giving them the tools they need in order to excel to the top. Traditional community college programs graduate only about 25% of students in three years, but in partnership with the Mayor's Office for Economic Opportunity, the CUNY ASAP program graduates more than 50% in the same time period. By the fall of 2018, Mayor Bill de Blasio expects to expand ASAP to serve 25,000 students, and Ohio and California are creating ASAP programs in their own schools. In government, we see the power of scale, and I think the Mayor's Office for Economic Opportunity brings those two things together, looking at what works, trying new things, drawing from experiences across sectors, and scaling it up, reaching all of the folks who can benefit from services that can have impact.